like some lithological punch. Okay, so you basically be blowing all the way along. Okay. Um, like 119.97. These are all 8 now Yeah, 120. This is only get broken. Okay, so say we assumed that that was the contact. Mm -hmm. So then you say, okay, the contact between the peroxonite and this lighter colored material, for example, is at 120.56. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that would be your, your contact. And you'd say the, the contact is sharp or gradational or whatever. If it's gradational, you just have to um, take some point along the core where you actually say that's where the contact is because yeah. obviously it's, it's grading from one end to the other. Um, and then if, it, if there is some sort of angle to the contact again you're going to measure the angle say like something like that or whatever. Okay. okay obviously when you log in as well you need to take account take into account this. So obviously when you measure you're not just going to measure across that. Okay so we said we, we took it from there. Um, but obviously then, if you are measuring backward, which you wouldn't normally do, but if you were, you wouldn't measure like, you wouldn't take it and say, okay, over here it's, it's 0.72, you'd actually have to move it back to, to there. Okay, understand that? Because mm -hmm. obviously you need to leave out the needle marker, it's not part of the core. Does this all make sense? Yeah? Sort of. It's not rocket science. It's pretty simple. It's like a week you're like, oh, boring. <laughs> <laughs>